not even in there. <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. You already know who it is. Rick. Joe. Joe. Rick and Joe. Rick and Joe show. All right, what are we doing today? Today, we are swapping out our hub oil seals with these new ones. Um, what is it? These are called... Um, yeah, so what we got is these uh, universal oil caps. They're uh, Valcrum. Uh, you can pretty much get them online anywhere. Uh, I got these from Amazon. Make sure you get the right size because I ordered uh, some that were... Um, between it's I think they have a, the description is for axle weight and it's like uh, 10,000 to 15,000 pound axle weight and then there's like five to ten thousand pound axle weight so apparently the diameter of the hub oil uh, cap is different so I thought I, I have uh, 10,000 pound axles so I ordered the one between 10 and 15 and apparently it's the wrong size they were too big so I didn't get to swap them out last time but this time a month in yeah, the it's been about a month. I meant to take these on the road and do them on the road because they're so easy to swap out. Uh, but I forgot them at home, so I now we're home and it's a little chilly because I was down in Florida and I wanted to do it down there because the oil flows uh, better when the, when it's hot. So we're gonna try to do it today. It's about 45 degrees. Yeah, it's was 50. So it's not it's not as yeah. cold as it usually is here. So hopefully the oil will drain out faster a little bit today than yeah. uh, if it's like 30 degrees. <laughs> But anyways, uh, let's go over the tools you're gonna need, right? Uh, obviously, your uh, four of these, right? Because I have uh, dual axles in the back. So four of your uh, Valcrum uh, oil caps. I ordered this tool online, Amazon as well. Uh, there are different kinds out there. I thought this one was pretty cool because it has the two and a quarter inch fitting, and then it has the so it's two and a half and two and a quarter. So it fits both um, up oil uh, caps regardless of what size you have so this is this was a pretty cool tool that I uh, ordered um, again Amazon your hub oil I use Lucas I put this shit on everything oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> we always got some of that your uh, not loves cups but Dixie cups uh, right. but you already know where to get them you already know what that sign is <laughs> and I'll show you what you need the cups for um, some Gojo wipes rags for sure because uh, it might get a little messy um, when I ordered this on Amazon they suggested me to order this and this is to drain the oil in it kind of like fits here I'll show you it fits in your rim kind of like this guys it's garbage don't buy this don't waste your money that's gonna be this, a, a pee bowl from now this on this is what you're gonna need right this is gonna fit right underneath there and your oil is gonna drain right in there. Okay. Shout out love. So <laughs> we love love. <laughs> your Dixie cups and then uh, I hammer. Um, all right, let's see how fast we can do this. So I don't need that center piece. I'm just gonna use this. It's gonna go right in here. Uh, now these should not be too tight because I've already swapped the oil not too long ago. Um, it was really bad. Guys, don't um, lack on changing the oil on this on this stuff. And you see how easy it comes out. Um, now I'm gonna loosen it up. I'm gonna put my cup under here, and it should. Easy peasy, right? Now you see how dark that oil is? It shouldn't be that dark. Um, and that's because the first time I changed it was the very first time I changed I it. And I've it. used the, the trailer <laughs> for quite a bit. Um, I saw a video of uh, another YouTuber who lost the whole rim. Um, not the rim, the whole axle actually flew off the trailer. Um, thank God it didn't go onto oncoming traffic or hit another car, 
but it did go into the grass and it caught on fire. The fire department came. It, it, it was a mess. I'm not gonna say his name because uh, influencer um, on me to become a hotshot driver. But um, <laughs> anyway, the reason why he lost that uh, axle was probably because he neglected to change the uh, oil on the um, axles. All these axles, right? <laughs> um, but uh, as you can see, that's how fast you can just uh, change the oil. We have you one can of do our, this on the go. We have one of our friends do this, uh, I think he said once every two or three weeks, something like that. He's doing it all the time. I mean, he's on a schedule, so yeah. he's, he's doing this all the time. You can do this while you are on your um on your whatever your uh, on your break um at any truck stop um just make anywhere. sure it's, it's warm enough i know like especially with the northern states um in the winter get pretty cold apparently in the south too um we just came from texas not too long ago and they had that ice storm or whatever it was freezing down there so I kind of have mixed feelings about changing these out with those newer ones, and here's the reason why. Uh, these, they, they have their pros and cons, right? These are plastic. Um, everybody's always worried that they're gonna crack or break or something like that, but what's gonna hit them, right? It's, it's inside the rim. It's not really gonna get hit by anything unless the wear and tear of you just, you know, putting them on and taking them off. That's the only downside to them. Um, I like that they're, completely clear and you can see how low the oil is um, I like that you can just take them off and you don't have to spin the wheel to get the uh, drain plug to be uh, on the bottom and I'll show you what I'm talking about the new ones the new ones <clears throat> have a drain plug so you would have to spin you're gonna have to spin your 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 wheel to get this to be on the bottom to drain your oil and you can only see you know whatever you can see in here you, you can't really see how low it is but if it's below that line obviously uh, you need oil I do like these because they have a magnet on the inside right the magnet is going to um, attract any shavings or any uh, little pieces of metal that are in there you don't want that metal getting in your bearings um, so I like the magnets uh, I like that they're aluminum but you're limited to what you can see and you will have to spin your axle or your, your, your rim to drain the, the oil. That means that if you're in a spot, um, like at a Love's or whatever, at a truck stop, you're gonna have to move your truck forward uh, a couple feet to do one tire and then move it back to do the other tire until you get this plug um, facing downwards to drain the oil. That's what I don't like about this. Uh, so whereas, uh, as the plastic ones, you can do all four of them at the same time right now, as I am. Okay, it's so easy that Joe's gonna try to do this. Okay, spin it, you can put your cup under there, take the tool out. OMG. Alright, now you do a little dance, make a little love, wait 15-20 uh, minutes for everything to drain completely out, and we'll put the new ones on. So we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> so next thing, make sure you guys have the new O-ring that comes with this. Um, I'm going to pop these covers off so that it's easier to fill with oil when I put this on. 
insert your o-ring on here okay let's go down here looks like it stopped dripping let's take this cup off of here just wipe this a little bit Just fit right on. Like a glove. Alright, now we're going to use our tool. And we're just going to. I go by feel. I don't think there's a torque for this. We might get that in the comments. <laughs> There might be. Yeah. I usually do everything by feel. Again, my if, previous uh, industry was all about twerks. So I have a pretty good feel for what a twerk or what's at a specific twerk. And again, um, once you run it for a couple hours, um, just check and see if there's any leaks. If there's any leaks, I always keep the tool with me. So you just uh, make it a little tighter. Um, I wouldn't over tighten it just so you don't uh, wear those threads out um, or stress you'll start stressing this threads little by little eventually you'll probably end up stripping either the cap or your your uh, axle which is even worse and then to fill it just fill it there's a fill line there your min and your max so I will fill it to the min line and then I'll wait about 15 minutes until the oil seeps into all the bearings and then come back and then um, add some more and again once you run it run your trailer or go pick up your first load or wherever you're going um, just always good habit to check because uh, yeah it, it uh, the oil will seep inside and um, and you don't even know where it went. I don't know if you can see that, but it's already at the fill line. And then we wait now. We wait about, uh, yeah, you can see where it's at right now. I'll wait about 15 minutes. If the, if the trailer was up in here, I'll just spin the tire for a little bit and, uh, and let the uh, oil seep into where it needs to go and then you know it's it's uh, it's full but since I got it on the ground um, I'm just gonna wait come back in a few minutes and then refill now we'll do the same thing for all the other four It, 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 I mean, it's, it's going to be, all right, I think that's good right there. The oil. <coughs> and it's going to go to, yeah, just fill it until you'll see, you'll see it. back in about 15 minutes and see where it settled. All right, so it's been about uh, five, 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's settled. 
and it's all the way down here right now. So I'm gonna go right back in and just refill it. Back to the line. And I'm gonna wait another five, 10 minutes and come back and check it again until it's until it stays at the at that full line. Well, good as new. And the other side looks good too, so we just gotta clean up our little mess we have going on yep. here. So that's uh, pretty much as easy as that. Um, really simple. And again, you can do this on the road. Always keep uh, one of these uh, bottles of uh, cob oil. I would definitely recommend the uh, Lucas. Oh, for sure. Lucas for everything. <laughs> um, I use Lucas uh, fuel injector. I use Lucas oil. Um, uh, stabilizer. I use, uh, what was it, the fuel injector? Fuel injector cleaners. Shout out uh, Lucas. Yeah, Lucas, uh, <laughs> they're not sponsoring us, but um, let me tell you a little story. I had a uh, Mazda Tribute, same thing as a Ford Escape. Um, I used Lucas on every oil change. That thing had 250 something thousand miles on it. The transmission, unfortunately, I never changed the oil on transmission, but I did add Lucas oil to it. That thing ran pristine. pristine. It was pristine. Like <laughs> uh, there was there was nothing wrong with the car. I just sold it just because it was old and I had bought a new truck. But uh, I think it's due to using the Lucas oil. Um, I should have uh, I should have sent a little video of that truck with the 250,000 miles uh, to Lucas to see if they would sponsor me. Yeah, right. But uh, let me tell you, I I don't know. I uh, I trust it. Uh, apparently a lot of people do because it's like number one uh, rated but uh, yeah use Lucas there's a lot of other brands out there on the, on the shelf with um, with uh, grades like 60w5 or something like that that's gear oil um, I guess it works just as good but I, don't know. I, I wouldn't use it so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, I think when we do it on the road I'll we'll probably do another short little video of us doing it just on the road how easy it is but uh, that was just changing the caps and uh, changing the oil. Yeah, pretty easy. And uh, yeah, definitely, uh, I mean, all you gotta do is really know if you need to change it or not, the oil, if it's going bad. Color, right, if it's getting dark, change it. Uh, put your finger in there, touch it, smell it. If it smells burnt, a little uh, like a, a smoke uh, smell to it, um, change it. It, it, it's going bad. Uh, it's and these things it, look at I didn't even use half of this so this is good for another two more two more um, changes uh, so it's not very expensive and it'll save you a lot of headaches especially if you lose an axle or something out in the road but um, all right guys well thanks for watching guys make sure to like comment subscribe and share follow us on all our social media I'll put that in the description below um, till the next one keep it hot, keep guys. It hot. <laughs>